Then go ahead, bring your arms in front and stretch. Keeping the arms up high as well makes a big difference here. And then lifting. Watch where your shoulders are. Try and relax the legs. Remember, start from the core and stretch. And this time you're going to stay down so you can bend the knees. We need to roll back, ready for scissors. So we come up, drop the hips back, wiggle yourselves up nice and high, no creases across the waist, stretch the legs. And then when you're ready, we can exhale, we can inhale, we can exhale, we can inhale. So the range here really depends on how balanced you are. Watch the neck, reach the crown of the head way back behind you. You don't want to be relying totally on your arms to prop you up. We want to look at the neutral line through the spine and then the legs just counterbalance each other. You'll feel a stretch through the back of the legs. Use the core muscles. One last set will do. And then we stretch both legs over. We bend the knees, we roll down, we find our neutral position and tabletop, so you know all the principles. Tray of marbles resting on the pubic bone and the hip bones. We come up with the upper body. You can inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Core strengthen. So no marbles should be rolling here. You could inhale one set, exhale another. So of course, if you're speeding up the breath, you'll be doing more repetitions. If you slow it down, you'll be doing fewer repetitions. So about 10 complete breaths would be good. Drop the shoulders, stay right up onto the tip of the shoulder blades. Let's just have one more complete breath. And now let's release Exhale, draw those thighs to the chest. You can take your head to one side. You can take your head to the other side. And you can roll yourselves up. And that's it. That's the first flow.